Hi everyone, welcome to another video by Optionovitz. My name is Saket and in today's video, we are going to know more about Russia as well as Ukraine war. What exactly is happening and why exactly the global markets are reacting the way they are. So if you look at Indian markets today, Nifty fell close to 500 points and Bank Nifty fell close to 1400 points. So this is one of the worst falls that we have seen in the recent times. And I don't even recall when was the last time Nifty fell 3%. Most probably it was during this COVID time. So it's been over a year uh, since we saw Nifty fall 3% in a day. And uh, the market actually tried to stabilize uh, till afternoon. But once Europe opened, there was severe set up even in European markets. So DAX was down by almost 3.5%. CAC as well as FTSC also fell close to 2.5-3%. So immediately the set up again started. And all the way from 17,000, we fell towards 16,800 by close. So today, we are going to discuss more about why exactly is this uncertainty going on around the world. So we will try to understand more about the tensions between Ukraine as well as Russia and what exactly is happening. So this entire tension is caused because Russia has started to bring its crew close to Ukraine border. So Russia has got close to 1,30,000 soldiers around the Ukraine border and it is now ready to attack Ukraine. So the question what we have to ask now is why exactly is Russia trying to attack Ukraine? What is the issue that Russia is having? So for this, we have to go back a decade earlier and try to understand what exactly happened. So in 2008, Ukraine showed interest in signing the NATO agreement. NATO agreement stands for National Atlantic Treaty Organization. So this is an agreement between 30 countries including US, Canada and all the European nations. So what is the problem if Ukraine actually enters this agreement? So if Ukraine now enters this agreement, there is an article in this agreement which specifically states that if one of the nation is attacked within the NATO, then it is considered as attack against all other nations. That means if Ukraine signs the NATO agreement and later if Russia attacks Ukraine, then attack on Ukraine will be considered as attack on all other 30 countries. So this means Ukraine by signing this treaty will indirectly join the West as well as US and Russia doesn't want that. Why does Russia doesn't want that? Because Russia will start to lose its supremacy in the Northeast. So right now around Russia there is Belarus as well as uh, even Ukraine and Russia almost controls Belarus. So Russia has already sent its troop to Belarus also surrounding Ukraine. So now the problem is if Ukraine actually ends up or strengthens its tie with the West, that means it's a bad news for Russia. And we already know that Russia and US from the beginning don't like each other. And this will also give US a chance to come closer to Russia. And Russia doesn't clearly want that. So this was the interest shown by Ukraine in 2008. So after that what happened? Ukraine got a new president who was pro-Russia. So he was on the side of Russia. After that, he tried to improve his relationship with Russia. So everything was going good until 2014. In 2014, what happened is people clearly didn't like this new leader. So he was actually brought down in Ukraine. So Russia immediately invaded Crimea, telling that so many people in Crimea are pro-Russian. So they wanted uh, Crimea to be part of Russia and they literally forcefully took it from Ukraine. And after that, uh, there was not much of unrest until Ukraine showed interest in joining NATO again. So right now, what happened is Russia started bringing this troop closer and closer from December. So I think uh, much before December also, they started bringing in troops very closer to Ukraine border. And uh, recently, they have got close to 1,30,000 troops around Ukraine border. And when Russia was asked by US and other countries what exactly were they doing, they told they were actually testing it out as well as it's a regular warfare practice. So obviously you don't bring all your soldiers from across uh, your country towards one border just for practice. Right? So clearly it was seen that Russia was now interested in war. So they were actually trying to attack Ukraine. Otherwise they won't bring all the troops from all across the country towards the border. So that's why uh, recently Joe Biden, who is the president of US, had a call with Putin. So last week he spoke for over an hour and nothing actually came out of call. So after this, the tensions actually started increasing. Because Joe Biden tried to strike some diplomatic deals with Putin, but uh, it was not fruitful. And after that, the tensions actually started to rise. Putin was very clear with what he wanted and he was not ready for any negotiations. And that's why immediately, 
US issued a notice saying that Russia can attack Ukraine anytime now. Within 20th of February, we can expect an attack anytime. And it immediately told everybody who is working in Ukraine, any US citizen working in Ukraine, as well as the embassy people, should immediately return to US because anytime Russia can attack Ukraine. And after that, the tension started building up further because now uh, US was also pretty sure that the war might actually happen and even Russia was actually bringing all its troops closer and immediately the tension started shooting up. In Ukraine, few of the people, not all of them, few of them actually already started stocking up food as well as they started withdrawing cash and filling their car with full tank. Uh, so you can see that in news because now even they are pretty sure because there is a lot of uncertainty going around and even they don't know what exactly they can expect. And immediately after this, Prime Minister of UK Boris Johnson as well as Chancellor of Germany wanted to have talks with Putin to actually end this war. And meanwhile, US started deploying its troops to Poland because Poland comes right after Ukraine. So there is Russia here, then there is Ukraine here and then there is Poland here. So Poland comes right after Ukraine. So US started deploying its troops to Poland in case if Ukraine needed any help while Russia launches the attack. So now after this, uh, what happened is all the nations started issuing orders to Putin saying that in case if he doesn't end the war, then there will be severe sanctions on Russia. So Germany has also made it clear that there will be severe sanctions on Russia and even US has made it quite clear that they are going to impose sanctions on Russia. So for Russia, now it is not a simple task to actually go and attack Ukraine because it has full support from best European nations as well as US. So attacking Ukraine has a huge consequence for Russia and not attacking Ukraine, Russia will start to lose its supremacy over its region and that is also not something really good for people like Putin because he really wants to be in the spotlight, who wants to dominate as well as be one of the most powerful people in the world. For him, uh, it is a pretty hard task to let go over the control of these states. As well as, on the other hand, attacking these states is also not going to be pretty easy for them because there is stiff opposition from everybody and attacking that, continuing with the war will have severe consequences on Russian economy. So nobody really wants a war until Putin really decides that he doesn't want a war. Because uh, Ukraine on the other hand is looking to withdraw from NATO if it can really help in bringing peace. So let's see how the events will turn out to be. So what is happening right now is clearly not healthy and there is a lot of uncertainty around and we really don't know what can happen. So the market is already expecting a worst case scenario and all the markets around the world has fallen quite a lot. In case if Russia starts to withdraw troops and if some positive news comes out or if some diplomatic settlement takes place, then we can expect market to find support, make a bottom and start bouncing back. So this is the entire situation. In maybe one or two weeks, we should have clarity because if US intelligence is right, then uh, they should be attacking by Wednesday or Thursday. Or there is also one more conspiracy theory to this saying that Russia always likes to prove US wrong. So since uh, US is expecting a war, Russia will not attack just to prove US wrong. But this is just a theory. We don't know what exactly will happen. So that will bring us to next question, what to expect from markets. So to be honest, uh, no one really has an idea what we can expect from the market in the coming week. It all depends on how the events will pan out. So in case there is a troop withdrawal, there will be some good uh, buying in the market. Otherwise, the sell-off will continue. Where market is going to take support, hopefully uh, by 16500 or 16000, it should find support and bounce back from there uh, if all the tensions start to come down. So next coming to what happened to our trade. Uh, so yesterday, unfortunately, we had a 38,000 naked put option sell. So we were expecting the market to take support. And uh, what happened today morning was completely disastrous. So it tapped down almost 1,300 points and we lost close to 8.5, 9 lakh negative in turn. But uh, immediately uh, we started managing. So this is one good point of having low position sales. We just had 1,000 and we could manage it pretty well. So we immediately started shorting additional calls and we also got a hedge leg down and over time, so before the market closed, from 9 lakh our MTM got reduced to 5 lakh. So we almost were able to recover close to 4 lakh and we ended with a negative 5 lakh MTM. So coming to intraday trade, uh, we also took a small intraday trade uh, where we ended up making overall 1 lakh. So we took trades in both Nifty as well as Bank Nifty. And Nifty trade, we closed everything by uh, 2.30 with a positive of 
2 lakh employees. So around 2.4 lakh employees. After that, by 3 o'clock, we took a simple short straddle in Bangladesh. But for our surprise, the premium started to bring quite a lot. So it was uh, we shorted the short straddle around 450, 455. And towards the end, it ended somewhere close to 450 and 550. So there was a 100 point increase in the option premium as we moved towards the end. So because of this increase uh, from Bangladesh, we lost close to 1,30,000 and we ended with an overall profit of 1,10,000 on intraday basis. And positional basis, we were able to bring down our loss quite a lot. Since the position size is small, so we can manage this and anyways there is limited loss on the downside now. If the market bounces back, it is good for us. So we can somehow manage and we can make sure that we will be out of this position with less than 1.5-2% loss. So that's the advantage of holding low position size. So in case if the position size was higher, then we would have definitely had a hedge. So we don't go naked with huge short quantities. So that is for our positions and what exactly is happening to the markets right now. So let's see how exactly or what exactly will happen to the US markets today and how it will be carried forward to Indian markets tomorrow. So looking at today's data, quite easily FIIs would have sold over 4,000, 5,000 crores because HDFC was down close to 5%. And HDFC falling 5%, you know that FIIs would be heavy net sellers because without them selling, you won't really see such blue chip stocks falling 5%. And anyways, they are selling continuously and this will be one of the good reasons for them to sell further more and that will sell a huge quantity. So let's hope for the best tomorrow and see what exactly happens. And one more thing is uh, today actually we had to go out and I didn't record the trade. But what I would rather do is post our M2M screenshot. So right after this, you will be seeing our M2M screenshot of how much we lost. So I will also mark the intraday trades as well as uh, the positional trades and show you what exactly happened to our m -trade. And with that, we also come to the end of this video. And I hope that you guys have liked this particular video. If so, then please do hit the like button, share this video as well as subscribe to Optionals. Thank you so much for your